Hi Sagittarius, this is Born with a Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Cross Watchers. This is a message from the Spirit from July the 19th to December 2020. Could happen anytime in between there. Um, make sure you read the description before you call my number. When you call my number, text me only, please, at 313-401-3707. Do not leave a message. Thank you. So let's see what the Spirit has to say. So, Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So, the Spirit said that you've been praying precisely and that Mother Mary says to expect a miracle. So, there is a miracle. I feel like someone needs a healing. Someone's having surgery. This is my medium and clairvoyance that I'm picking up. Uh, somebody is bipolar. Um, there's some mental anxieties, abuse going on. So whatever you've been praying for, expect a miracle from that. There's going to be a, a situation to where they're going to get you out of there that you're going to move. You're going to move with somebody or there's going to be a forced move with somebody out of your house, especially if it's domestic. Uh, medicine woman, you are a channel for divine healing power. So some of you are Indian. Okay. Maybe some of you don't know it. You need to check into your background. But uh, some of you are a medicine woman. Uh, there's some of you that are dealing with herbs. Um, now your tribe, I see um, some Indians out west. I see the Indians out in uh, New Mexico, uh, Texas. But New Mexico sticks with me tremendously. Um, there's something about that I'm hearing about the land the land that you're on, because I'm part Indian too, I'm Cherokee. So there's something I'm hearing about that the spirit is telling me, the chief, that you need to check your land. There's something going on with the land. Are they trying to take your land from you? Are they trying to rush you out of where you live? Is there the protesting going on? But there's something definitely going on in the New Mexico area, something about the land that you're on. Does somebody want to buy the land? Please come in and let me know below, okay? And I'm also hearing Texas, but mostly uh, New Mexico and out by the Grand Canyon area, okay? So, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So, a lot of you have lost weight, and you're on that process of losing weight, and you're feeling good about yourself, the Spirit says. You're dancing around. Um, you're caring how you look like now since you lost a few pounds. Or on your way, you're trying to look your best. Um, I feel that, Sagittarius, some of you have been sluggish in a way, sleeping a lot. I uh, just want to eat and not working out. But some of you are changing that. You're going vegan. So that's a good thing. Stop eating meat. Uh, divine passion, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So Sagittarius, you have to be very um, heartfelt with yourself, the Spirit says. You have to really admit the true things that are inside of you. The divine passion that runs through your blood. So even though you may not be true to somebody else or honest, you have to be true within yourself, the Spirit says. Because some of you have been lying to yourself, okay, about whatever situation. Past life, the situation involves your past life memories. So some of you are going through what you're going through in this life because of your past, because you have not learned from it. So say you're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic in this lifetime because you have not learned to cure that. And that's a disease, okay? Drugs, you're drug addicted. You were doing it in your past life, so you brought it over to this life. So you're not through with that yet. You might have to do another life if you don't get a handle on things, okay? Some of you were maybe in an abusive situation. You might be in one now, and you haven't gotten hold of it in your past. So now you have to work on that to get out of that situation to stop the abuse. You see what I'm saying? Then you got prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open and receiving. So it's just not about money, Sagittarius. But I feel that you're making your money okay, a lot of you. Um... I see that you're going to be getting some money from a deed, a land 
that you're trying, you found a deed and it's to land or something like that, the Spirit is saying, and I'm picking up psychically an empath way. Um, somebody I see has a for sale sign on land also. You will sell that land anywhere from the next two or three months to the next two or three years because of the epidemic that's going on. A lot of places are being locked down again, but if you're lucky to sell it in the next couple weeks, two to three weeks, two to three months, two to three years, you're lucky. But I do see a white sign on there with blue writing or red, white, and blue writing or white and red writing and some black. But you're definitely going to sell this. And I also see someone that lives by the lake where you're in a canoe, okay? Um, you have a house on the lake that you want to buy or sell. You're going to get that that house that's on the lake or you're going to sell it or both okay um i see somebody has their eye on a jeep you're going to get that jeep a white one or a red one um i see florida with some of you sagittarians a beachfront property that you want to buy or you want to live on the beach um but i see a lot of sagittarians moving up in the world um, you're going to have the money to do so. You're going to sell what you need to sell and move on. Okay? I see somebody wants to buy a new boat, too. Uh, home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. So, you guys, just what I said. With the, pros with the abundance card that I just had here, and I just read you, confirmation. Your household situation is improving either through remove or a healthy change in the occupants. Now, the only thing difference with this is a healthy change in occupants. Some of you are pregnant and getting ready to have a baby. You're going to find out that you're pregnant. Um, some of you have enough room in your place, but you might want to build on another room for the baby. Okay? And a lot of you have the money to do that. So, the leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So you're going to have to take a, you're going to have to take a risk, a Sagittarius, and you're going to have to put your heart's true desire into action. That means you're going to have to believe in what you're trying to take a leap of faith in. Okay. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So Sagittarius, there's a project or something or your own business or building a house. There's something that you're trying to do. The Spirit is telling me you need to take your time so you don't mess up. Okay? So whatever it is that you're trying to do, your own business, you know, maybe you're building a car, whatever it is, you need to take your time in that to make sure that you're doing the right thing. And I'm seeing a contract also, uh, Sagittarian. So you need to watch how you sign the contract. Don't sign it too early. Don't sign it too late. But like right in the middle, read every fine print. I don't care if it takes you a week to 10 days. Read everything on that contract. One to 10 hours. I don't care. Read everything because there's some shit in that contract and that fine print that you're not really seeing that you need to see. Okay, Sagittarius? And your last card is fertility. Yes, some of you are going to have a baby this year, next year. Um, some of you are very fertile. Your partner is very potent. So some of you will be getting pregnant this year and having a child next year. Okay? And also, just like I said, new projects. Watch your contracts. You're going to access new ideas and give birth to a new conditions or to a child. And in this case, I see twins and little girls. Okay? So Sagittarius... Um, you have a great year ahead of you. If you would like a personal reading, 313-401-3707, text only. I do work, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, and God bless.